subscribers and to everybody who watched my new first video today I have the coasters that I did in my last video which were ocean inspired coasters they're on six by six inch ceramic tiles I've previously prepped the back in the beginning with tape so then all my resin drips will be on the tape and then after I take my heat gun and I pull all the tape off and it makes it a lot easier because it softens it and then you're not tugging and pulling because if you do, it'll break the resin on the sides. It was a three piece, so I'll show you all the pieces separately. These are so pretty that I think I'm going to redo my backsplash in my kitchen by making a whole bunch of them. What I also have to show you is two dry Dutch pour paintings. This one's on just a level one canvas, 10 by 10 inch. It has the iridescent Pebio paints in it. It's got green, blue, and pink, uh, sorry, the blue violet. And it's so pretty. I don't know if you can see the shimmer from it when I tilt it. But it's gonna get finished in resin. And then I also have this new 10 by 20 gallery wrapped canvas, which is a level three. This will also get finished in resin. It was my first painting that I used the 24 karat gold in it by um, Deco Art Metallics. I wanted it for so long and every time I go and try to buy it, Michael's is always sold out from it. I've been trying to get sterling silver and I still can't because they've been sold out. And then every time I go and buy it, it's there and then the next day I go back and it's gone. I also have these MDF wood cutouts that I've made myself. I cut them out on my own saw. These are commissioned for someone. This is the Luigi. This one is a Mario. And then this is Yoshi. Bunch of cat fur on the side. <laughs> this one's Yoshi. So then right before I put resin on them, I'm gonna take my Liquitex Basics. It's a gesso. And I'm gonna prep them because all wood needs to be prepped before it gets painted or has something done to it. And four of these, I'm going to take my crystal resin mica powders and I'm going to choose colors that are really like each character that they have. And if you feel like you would like to watch me make these, you can leave a comment and I'd love to read your feedback. And then maybe I'll make a video of them if enough people would like me to. How about we get to what we're going to make today and what it's going to be is a set of four four by four inch ceramic tiles and this time I'm going to do a Dutch pour on them just because I have enough white already mixed up in the squeeze bottle to make these. I'm currently waiting for some flow trial, which I'm gonna be getting this week, and I just don't have enough to make a painting, which sucks because that's what I plan to do in a video today, but we'll do what we have, I guess. So let's start and make it. Okay. So I've got my four four by four ceramic tiles ready to go. I've got popsicle sticks under my cups that's holding them up just to make sure that they're level. So I've taken my level and I've checked it all ways to make sure that they were level. And on the back of them, I've taped them previously to make sure that they're um, protected on the back so then no paints on it. I've also taken a paper towel and I've taken a little bit of glass cleaner and I've cleaned them off right quick from the dirt that was on them, just little hairs and my fingerprints from prepping them. I have this cup from the other day of some mixed paint that I had taken out of my squeeze bottle just to remix and it still looks okay so I'm actually going to use some of this on them right now just in case I don't have enough in my squeeze bottle just to be safe. So I'm gonna do it the same way that I would for a normal Dutch pour that I do. So I would put a base down and then I would spread it all out. Okay, 
to mix all my paints with Floetrol and water. I'm just gonna blow it all over the whole thing. Just spread it out evenly. a lot more paint on these ones than the first one. So my colors I'm gonna use tonight are Quinacridone Magenta by Liquitex Basics, Pebeo Orange Yellow, and Pebeo Iridescent Green Yellow. I'm gonna take my torch and just pop all my air bubbles. That's so okay. Ah, <laughs> I'm gonna be mad at it. Okay. Here goes the shot. Let's start with this one, I guess. Don't want too much paint that it takes over 
pretty much, and then there's no negative space. I'm gonna go one by one. Just to see how I want to do this. Ooh, I came up fast. Whoops. Alright. I hope everyone's gonna overtake the screen. A little too much orange. There. Okay. Uh, scorch it. Whoops. I'm gonna pick this up to do it, I think. Alright, so I'm gonna show this in camera still, son. Take popsicle stick first and grab the side with right you. Hmm. Where was it? Oh, I kind of messed it up. Let's do the next one. Ugh. So now I got this off full point. Oh my gosh. Alright. Let's try this again. Actually, I want to take my torch on this real quick because I want to pull up Oh my god, my torch. I need a new one. Try to make a little bit more cells come out. And what I have for squeeze bottles are just set from Amazon. I found them. They're not really the best because when you tilt them, they want to like flow out before you even squeeze them. And I'm thinking about buying Lily Duffy ones. I always have, but where they're from the US, it's US currency and so on. So I just haven't got to it yet. And they work good enough for me right now. And I have all my paints mixed in them and I don't want to have to go and like remix all my paints. But maybe sometime soon. So I'm just gonna take my torch and get all the bubbles. Alright, let's do this one. This one has a little more pink than the other one. So maybe it's just because I didn't put so much orange. Just make that fall off the side. I can't this 
decide if I want to make them all up on the inside or not. stick and wipe it right away and then my drips won't keep dragging my teeth off since I like it right where it is. Just trying to cover the spots I can see it's like. So wipe this one again really quick. And then this side. torch it first before I move on. It's hard to decide if I should blow it out the side or not. Uh, I guess we'll work with what we got here. That's good enough. I like it. I don't want to play with them too much because then if I play with them too much, I'll go too far. And I'll mess with it too much and sometimes it just messes them up completely. Some people don't like all the little tiny microscopic bubbles, but I think I do. I often lean torch my paintings when I'm done with them. And I'm just doing this one again because I just want to bring out a little bit more cells. I think it looks cool. It looks really cool. All right, now this one. This one I might have to fix. I screwed it. Yeah, I think I flunked it. I got too much of the white mixed in with the color and then it made a mess. So then I just take a popsicle stick and I'm just gonna scrape it all off and then leave it in my wipes. Pink and orange and then green. And then 
to just pop these air bubbles before I blow them. I think that looks so cool when you have the iridescent colors with Pebeo because all oh, it just like I don't even know how to explain it. this one like this because if I mess with it anymore it's just gonna get messed up like the other one I'm gonna blow that little drop off. all right I'm gonna scrape those super fast so my drips don't keep pulling my paint off I like where it is right there and then the torch and let's pop all these little bubbles that are trapped under the paint so pretty I love it something different I've been doing paintings for a little while since I've started and learned the Dutch pour and I just need different things to do and these coasters I thought were such a good idea and then yeah yeah <laughs> I'm just gonna make sure that my edges are covered well enough and if they're not I'm gonna dab my paint and my paint, my finger and some of the white paint that's left. Okay, I'm gonna bring you guys down to them so you can see them. Let's do it. <laughs> 